Welcome to Brighton College. Welcome to Brighton College. Welcome to Brighton College. I'm Isaac Lowe. Here are a few things you should know before joining. A little bit about myself first. I'm from Hong Kong. I'm from a school called LaSalle College. I joined in Lower 6, which is also Year 12. I'm studying physics, chemistry, biology, double maths, and I did the Chinese A-level a few weeks ago. So in this video, I'm going to share some of my trip Tri tri <laughs> wait, wait, I got it. Tips and tricks about joining the college. Hopefully it'll be useful to you guys and enjoy. So we all know Brighton College is very famous for its academics. I'm going to give you a few tips. The first one is go hard from the very beginning. If you join in lower six, you're already starting the A-level content. So there's basically no time for you to chill. It takes way too much effort to consolidate knowledge learnt in the first term in the terms after that. If you join in full form, because you're not starting your GCSE yet, as long as you do all your prep, then it'll be fine. Go hard from the very beginning, and I promise you, it'll make your life so much better. My second tip is to be independent for your own studies. So a lot of people think that the teachers are going to tell you everything. They're going to help, help you on every single part of your journey, but that is just not true. For example, for biology and maths, the knowledge is so fast that it relies on you yourself to go through all the content. My third tip is not to be too ambitious. From my personal experience, I was a bit too ambitious. I took six subjects and I didn't really do too well because I had too much going on. So my advice to you is take the advice of other people in terms of academics. be sensible. So in terms of facilities for STEM subjects, we will be having lessons in the School of Sports and Science, which we call SSS. As you might have seen in the Brighton College advertisement video, there's 18 university standard labs, which is hands down quite impressive. Other than the STEM subjects, we have it in the Yo building, which is also quite newly built. The classrooms are very spacious. All the classrooms have the screen, touch screen thingies. It's very advanced. Moving on to sports, my first tip is it's never too late to start a sport. One thing I really like about Brighton College is that everyone gets involved in at least one sport, no matter how good they are. We have wide variety of options ranging from basketball, football, rugby, to climbing and beach volleyball. I personally do beach volleyball and it's so good because it's also close to our school. A five minute walk to the beach volleyball venue on a sunny day, it's, it's the best choice you can ever make. In our school, there's high teams and low teams. For high teams, it's, it's more of a competitive thing where pupils are actually very serious. If you just want to enjoy the sports as a hobby, then you should join the low team. It's really good for socializing with other players and it's also a mean for you to get outside of your bedroom. It's very important to not be embarrassed that you don't know the sport. Just go try it. So speaking of facilities, I have the School of Sports and Science behind me. It has the NASH, which you can see right here. It's the multifunctional indoor gymnasium where we do like volleyball, netball, basketball, and other indoor sports. There's also the gym. The special thing about school's gym is that there's a huge boarding gym community here. So every day after 8.30 for us senior boys, we have one hour of gym session. Also, we have the Jubilee ground. It's a 10 minute bus ride from here and it's it's a big piece of grassland where we play football and rugby. So as you can see, in front of the SSS, we have what we call the home ground, which is about one rugby pitch long and a bit wider. Usually we play rugby, cricket, football on home ground. There's also a tennis slash basketball court and some cricket throwing areas for us to, you know, enjoy. So my second tip is enjoy the facilities while you're still in the school. Brighton College genuinely has very nice facilities. All the sports buildings or structures are world-class standard and they're made specifically to help our students win competitions. 
And on top of that, we've already paid for them and it's accessible to us all the time. So why not take advantage of that? I know people who are in their room 24-7 and they come here just to study, but they're missing out on so much. So don't be like them and get your ass into the gym. As a boarder, your boarding house is your home away from home. It's the place you go back to at the end of every day. I'm going to give you a few tips on boarding life. And the first one is to communicate and learn how to share. In a boarding house, you might not necessarily have a single room. Sometimes you have to share with one or two other of your housemates. If you don't learn to share or communicate with them, you might not be able to get along with them because everyone has their own habits and routines. That's why it is very important to communicate and compromise to have a agreed routine where it works for everyone. In a boarding house, you're living with 80 other students in the, in the school and it is impossible to have it, always have it your way. You have to learn to accept that sometimes other people take priority before you and you have to deal with it because if you're in their position, you also want other people to compromise with you and that's why it's very important to learn how to share and Compromise. <laughs> so two tips for my housemaster. The first one is to name everything, including your clothes and all other belongings. It's a part of being kind to the house staffs as well because they're dealing with laundry for 80 boys. It's going to save them a lot of trouble if you would just name your clothes so they know who to give it back to. My second tip from the housemaster is to be kind, which brings me to my next point, which is to get stuck in. We have a saying that goes like, kindness is a token in Bryson College. That's why you shouldn't be scared to socialize and get stuck in. If you think of it, if you don't know people in the first few months, it's fine. You can just go up to them and ask, excuse me, what's your name? Nice to meet you. But when you're a whole year into the school and you still don't know anyone, then that's going to be weird if you go up to people and ask them what their name is when you've been studying together for a whole year. That's why getting stuck in in the first few months of the school is very important. Many people are scared of that because it's going out of their comfort zone, but there's genuinely no reason to be scared of it. It's you're just being scared because you don't know what to expect. In addition to getting to know people, it's also very important to get involved in the school activities. For example, this year I joined the house debate, house poker, house football, house badminton, and tons of other competitions where I represent the house. And it is through these activities that I actually get to meet a lot of new people. So school generally finishes at 4 or 4.45 and you may be wondering, what do we do after that? So after school finishes, we have free time until 4.45. We have low tea and it's sometimes muffins, sometimes whatever. And then after low tea, we then have more free time up until 5.45. But you've got to make the most use out of this because that's pretty much the last free time you're going to have until the end of the day. So I'll sometimes go and play basketball or... I do photography as an A-level, so I might go do some of my coursework. But then we need to make sure to be back in-house at 5.45 for first prep. For us in lower sixth, first prep is 5.45 to 6.45, where we can just do work for an hour. And then from 6.45 to 7.30, we have dinner, which is quite good. Um, it's a lot better than lunch. And definitely compared to other schools, it's really good food. But it's still school food. And then after dinner at 7.30 to 8.30, we have second prep, which is another hour of work. It's quite nice because you're basically forced to do prep. And then after second prep, we have our activities period. You can do gym or the Nash is open for basketball. There's sometimes volleyball. It's really good to have that kind of time. It's a bit late for some people at 8.45. And we got a special uh, intro from our tutor, Miss Unwin. What advice would you give to someone that's joining fourth form? Oh, good question. I think when you get here, get involved with lots of things. Take advantage of all the different clubs and activities, even if it's something you've never ever tried before. I think it's really good if you um, try something new. Even if you attend a club that you know you don't like, if you try it, then you'll know you don't like it. Whereas you might try something and actually realise you love it and never have found it before. Pack nice things to make your room look lovely. Some pictures from home, some... 
I don't know, some posters of things you like? Well, academic wise, well they're straight into their GCSEs certainly for science so I would say that make sure that you do get stuck into your lessons straight away especially because they have assessments quite early on. Nice. Thanks. Thank so in conclusion in Brighton College you get what you put in. If you put a lot of effort into studying in social life in sports and music then you reap the benefits out of the school thanks for watching i hope this is this has been useful to you guys and if you ever joined brighton college feel free to say hi to me or luke he's very noticeable for because he's a bit too tall so yeah thanks for watching bye